The average maxillary central incisor, unworn maxillary central incisor, is somewhere between 10 and a half millimeters long up to maybe 11 and a half millimeters long based on Manier's work. The maxillary central incisors have an average proportion of length to width. The average proportion is somewhere between 75 to 85 percent. So if an average central incisor is 10 and a half to 11 and a half millimeters long, then the average width is going to be somewhere around 8.5 to 9 millimeters wide. These three cases have been transformed to improve their smiles. So what I've done in each of these cases, I keyed on creating proper proportion with the central incisors. So on the first case, this was done with direct resin bonding. I was able to create proper tooth width to tooth length to create a central incisor that was about 81% width to length proportion, falling into the norm of 75 to 85 percent. By doing that, you can see how it sets the stage for the rest of the smile to blend in. On the second case, this is done with a combination of both porcelain crowns on the central incisors and bonding for the other teeth in the smile. We were able to create proper length of those central incisors, and by creating the proper length, and by being able to adjust the width of the teeth, we're able to create a more proportional, about 75% width to length, which then has allowed us to be able to create a beautiful smile for this patient. The third case that has some initial porcelain veneers that we've re replaced and retreated, you can see that we've been able to create proper width to length proportion that's closer to about 77%, again, falling in that range between 75 and 85%. By keying in on these central incisors, we're able to then be able to create a beautiful smile following the contours and shape we've established with the central incisors within the correct proportion of width to length, somewhere between 75 and 85%.